And this is why we sleep in the night, because there are bosses which take away your sword when you hit them, spawn cobwebs when, where you're standing, and, um, well, that was a creeper, but, um, yeah, damage happens. I made a little cobblestone box for myself to use the quartz grindstone and make sure that mobs didn't get me. And by the time I was done, I, I tried to get out, and um, I realised there were about 100 furious zombies next to me. The actual mob, the furious zombie, so that wasn't good. Um, uh, well, now my plans are okay, I guess, because I, well, I did lose a hopper, but it's not the end of the world. Um, uh, it turns out the furnace I was using didn't have enough coal to smelt everything that I had, so... Um, we will put some coal in here now. Um, looks like we got a lot of metal from all that, though. Where, where did I put the dust that I just had? There it is, iron dust. Um, yeah, we got loads of iron from that, and um, we got copper in the way. The only problem is we don't... Yeah, we're going to have to borrow this hopper a second. I made another one, but... Not fantastic, now it's all spewing out. Okay. Uh, right. That's working. It's industrial craft 2 copper. Doesn't really matter though. Um, we'll just put all this dust away for now and we'll uh, smelt it later. Um, first of all, my plan of action um, so far uh, is going to be making a tool forge and um, make some basic stone heavy tools. And that way that'll, that'll help me be able to get the equipment to build a base. So I'm going to go over that real quick right about now. While I was down here I noticed I still had that iron pickaxe head in the paper bindings that I found in the village so I thought I may as well put them good to good use since my stone pickaxe is a bit rubbish. And we'll use a stick. I think that's okay. Yeah, okay. I think it's a good one. I don't really want a stone bound one because it gives you terrible durability so let's try this instead. We may as well check this out now and... Oh, no, not check that out. Um, we can leave that now, and um, this is a better pickaxe, it should be. Well, shit. Okay, let's get down there. Um, there was a creeper, and I did try and fight him, but my sword was just not good enough. I couldn't hit him as he was uh, puffing up. And I think he was on, like, one last hit. Hopefully I didn't lose any items. Please say I did. Oh, for God's sake, no. No, no, no. Ooh. Well, those are my carrots gone. Okay. Um, please don't say I lost anything valuable. Um, well, I lost the bloody carrots. Oh, I was eating those. Okay. Uh, looks like I've lost my spade, and that's about it, I think. Nothing useful, I don't think. Oh. I've lost my gravel. Finally back. Okay. Um,. Now, all the stuff I got, the sand, clay, and gravel, um, we turn into grout, and then we cook the grout in the furnace. Where's the grout? You go in that. And uh, one thing I wanted to go over as well, I forgot to say, is I, I went into MC Edit and I removed all the long grass and double long grass in the area, and my frame rate is a lot better when going through there, and um, also everywhere else. Uh, if you look around by the forest over here, over here, um, there's no long grass there either, and my frame rate, it's not perfect, but it's Minecraft, isn't it? So it's never going to be perfect, but um, yeah, I'm getting a, a much higher frame rate now. Uh, the next thing we need is some blocks of metal. Um, we can use iron. Um, we just need four. So we can get that many, and then chuck them in the chest again. Ugh, I don't really like this chest thing where it's next to the, uh, the block. But what we do then is we get the tool station. Um, put the blocks of iron around it and then we wait for the seared bricks to be finished and done okay so then we get these bricks we make three of them and then we make the tool forge you can use any metal it doesn't have to be iron but um, I, I have that the most at the minute so then we put these down and if you notice now you can make hammers excavators and lumber axes or hammers lumber axes and excavators and we've also got um, a whole arsenal of weapons and tools that we can make. Um, so let's first of all make um, the hammer excavator and lumber axe.
For this, we're going to need the hammer head, we're going to need the excavator head, lumber axe head, heavy plate, um, large large rod and oh, tough rod and tough binding. Uh, we can check all these into here, and then we go to the part builder. We're just going to make them all out of cobblestone for now. We're going to need uh, one of these, um, another one, another one, and another one. Um, we're going to need a hammer head. Um, excavator head, lumberax head. I hope this is enough cobblestone. Um, tough, tough rod, three, and one tough binding. That was almost all my cobblestone. So, first of all, let's just sleep. I probably should make a bed because the sleeping bag doesn't actually set my spawn point. That means. If I die, I spawn over there again, all the way over there. So that's pretty bad. Okay, first of all, we've got the hammer, and we can. Oh, I guess we need another one of those bindings soon. Um, we make the hammer like that. Um, we make the excavator and lumber axe the same way, and it turns out we need another binding. Uh, like that, and we've got one cobblestone left. Um, but that's okay because um, we'll be able to get more quite quickly. Right, okay, there we go. Uh, I made some iron tools as well because I, I didn't really want the stone ones anymore. They just kept breaking and I, haven't re I had to repair them again and again and again. It's just getting a little bit annoying. But I'm going to keep the uh, tool station on me. Uh, the tool, yeah, tool station on me because these um, can use it as well, and I can repair repair these on the fly. Um, so most of you probably know how these work because a I've probably demonstrated them in other videos and b probably everyone else has demonstrated them in other videos. But I'm gonna go over them anyway just because they're cool. Oh gosh, I'm not very good with creepers. Let's go. This is the first time I've killed a monster. Oh no no, obviously it's a vanilla sword thing. So I, I've killed monsters with the tinker sword and it doesn't count, I guess. Um, if I had fallen there, I think I would have just. I, don't know, I would have just finished playing. <laughs> Hammer mines a 3x3 three three of rock. Um, excavator does a 3x3 three three of dirt. Or anything with a spade. Anything that requires a spade. And. I, I, I hate fireworks in this mod pack. And the uh, lumberx does an entire tree. Which is uh, handy for getting materials. For being dead, you. I don't want these flowers. I'm not doing Britannia yet. I need to get equipped. Um, so we need materials to build a shack, build a house or whatever we're going to build and um, carry on from there. Um, I'll be right back. Two thousand years later. Alright, so it's been a couple of days since the last cut and since then I've been on holiday. I've started playing a lot of Xbox Minecraft and I've completely neglected doing YouTube. But I'm back now um, and I think I'm just going to keep trying at this world. I kind of lost interest in Minecraft for a bit but after playing it on Xbox I sort of found a new respect for doing things vanilla -y, and I really enjoyed just playing without mods and that's kind of what made me not want to go back to doing this, although it feels good now that I'm back. I think I'm just going to stop doing things really, really in a complicated fashion. Although I like some of the stuff modded Minecraft adds. It made me appreciate things like the hammer and things like that, so I'm probably back for good now. Um, I did record a little bit, um, so that's what the last cut was. Um, that was before I went on holiday. Um, but... I can't remember how long the episode is now, so um, I think I'm going to have to probably check that. But I just wanted to show off my um, mining technique. Um, what I'm doing is I'm mining a bit of an area, and um, then I'll fill in some bits uh, with stone. I'll take the ores out. I'm mining at level 10, but um, with an additional 6 blocks up, so it's 10 to 16. I'm getting quite a lot of redstone, although funny enough I've only found a little bit of diamond. Um, and that's probably... I probably need to do a bit better than that. Um, and these are silverfish here, so I better just get rid of them. I have built myself a shack, 
on top of the hill here where um, I had my setup before. Now, bad news bears, there are no torches about, so in the night I have furious zombies spawning because we're near a tainted biome. Furious zombies are basically huge zombies, um, which, well, huge zombies, and they get bigger when you tra start attacking them, so um, they're not fun at all. Um, my frame rate, though, uh, since I've been playing Xbox Minecraft, I've noticed that the frame rate on that was a lot nicer, so. I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll end up dropping a few of the mods on this pack. I don't really want to. I feel like I could have built something better than this house as well. Okay. Um, so this is my little domain. I've got my applied energistics grindstone and iron furnace from Industrial Craft 2, which are all being smelted in here. I'll take this iron out actually because I probably need it for making new tools. Um, it's another thing I like is that you can sort the chests just by just by middle clicking. Um, but anyway, uh, uranium has got that. Okay, so this is the plan. Um, so we can make a book like this. And then now we need something with 8,000 EMC or above. Uh, we've got quite a lot of emeralds because we're digging into a hill, so we'll use uh, emeralds. But So right now we need to melt the emerald down into a piece of minium dust. So as we get this, we can get a piece of coal. Do we have any coal? Do we don't have any coal. Oh, we do. We've got loads. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, and we turn that into the Tome of Alchemical Knowledge. Dandy. Okay. Um, how's the stone coming along? It'll be in the chest, wouldn't it? Yep. Okay. That's coming along still. Um, let's put our power tools back in this bag here. I need to practice some more Minecraft because honestly, um, I feel really, really slow at it. Um, okay, and we'll end the episode by doing this um, this idea that I had in mind. Um, okay, so we got the Tome of Our Chemical Knowledge. Now what we've got to do is right-click with it to bind it to R us. Belongs to Astro Falcon Z. That's me. Okay. Um, so now what we want to do is um, start doing that and get the nine stone that we require. Um, now also what we need is chalk, uh, which we need to make a chalk block, which is clay and bone meal. Um, five bone meal, four clay. Do we not have any more leftover clay? We've got the bone meal. Crafting table. We need five bone meal, like this, um, and four clay, and we get this chalk block, and then we go outside with the chalk block and smash it. And we get the chalk. Um, that's quite a lot of chalk. It does, does have a durability, so um, uh, we only need one for now, probably. We'll put the rest in there. Uh, is our stone ready? It is. Um, and that's all done. We got our Tome of our Chemical Knowledge. Next thing we need is the research station. A uh, research station. Um, we need one, two, three, four uh, stone. I don't know why I'm counting so slowly. I'm having a brain fart today. We need some iron. And we need some wooden slabs. Which we actually have some of already. So we'll just use them. Uh, anyway, we'll do the research station in a second. Uh, there's no room to do what we were, what I need to do in the house, so we'll do it out here. Um, we'll do it over here-ish. We can move it later when we get a bigger base. So what it is, is it's nine of these ash-infused stone. Um, and then you get the chalk, and then you press V to uh, charge it, like an equivalent exchange item. And then you right-click with it. And you get this, um, oh, is that it? No. Oh, I think you have to shift right click, isn't it? Ooh, yeah, that's it. Awesome. Okay, this is it. And then, um, our Tome of our Chemical Knowledge can go in here. Now, at the minute, it, we don't have anything learned and we don't have anything EMC-wise that's inside of it that it can use. So what we've got to do now is get this stone that we were cooking, make this research station, um, with this, 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 and this, and we got to start start researching things. So we'll put it here. 
we put the book in here and then we give it things to learn so let's teach it emerald let's teach it uranium let's teach it diamond um, osmium let's teach it gold um, redstone uh, we can teach it a lot of things through acting so if we give so if we give it a redstone for instance it'll learn that and the reason I'm giving it diamonds is because we can make more of more diamonds now with other resources that we've got once we've taught it a diamond. It does take the item once it's um, learned it, but then that means now that we can put it in the exchange table and make more of it from EMC. So that'll be cool. Okay, so what I've decided to do is um, put a hopper with a chest on top of the research table. I uh, don't know why that chalk's in there. That uh, needs to stay with me. And um, the hopper will feed all the items into the research table which will teach them and uh, because the book is in my name it goes into my knowledge section. Um, so that's cool. Uh, we will probably need another book um, for the time being but um, for now let's just wait for the string to learn in the book and we'll just borrow the book for a second and We'll, 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 we will take uranium, uh, what's got high value, we'll take all the emeralds, um, we'll take a bit of gold, and we will go to the, the transportation table outside. Is that, t yeah, it's a table, because it, I think it was called a tablet as well. And then we can put the Tome of Alchemical Knowledge in there, put all this high EMC stuff in it, and we can convert the EMC into stuff that we want. So um, we probably just want uh, four and we'll keep one. Um, so we got uh, 8,000, 4,000, 2,000. That can make us a couple of diamonds. So that's, we've just made six diamonds from all the items that we had in here. This can make half a diamond, um, as you can see, which is also coming to about two gold. So we just turned our uranium into gold. That's pretty cool. We could also turn our gold into uranium. Again, we could turn our uranium into apples if we wanted. And then we could turn all our apples back into that one uranium that we had. And the numbers exchange evenly. So it's pretty, pretty cool. That's what I like about uh, Equivalent Exchange 3, is it's going back to the roots of Equivalent Exchange. Not, you know, OP items. Just um, giving one thing for another thing equally and it makes a lot of sense. So now we've got six diamonds out of the um, stuff that we already had. Um, so if we mine a bit more, we could probably get some more uranium. I could turn that uranium into the bars, and then we could turn the bars back into diamonds, um, which is a really, really good method of doing things. Um, but the only problem is we've got these two books um, here. This one in... Uh, uh, no, we've only got one book. We could make two, but that would take another diamond. So I think we'll just hold back for a second, and I'll just teach it all this stuff. It's uh, it's pretty good if you've got the um the hopper to do it. Um, most things have an EMC as well, except for some things they don't. For instance, monster jerky doesn't. But if we've got pork chops, we don't really need the monster jerky to turn uh you know ingots into uh food. That's pretty useful. Uh, so just quartz, silicon. Some things don't have EMC values. If I put osmium in, I might have. Yeah, probably. Whatever. We'll see now. All right. Well, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next episode, which will hopefully be soon, and not like two months after the previous one. Uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.